Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is fourth video in Parallels Remote Application Services tra Server Training and in this video I'm going to show you how to add RDS session host server to Parallels Remote Desktop Remote Application Servers. So let's see what we have in this demo environment. So we have four virtual machines in this demo environment. So the first three virtual machines which we have used in last three videos. So the first machine is Win2K16. DC01 which is my ActiveDuck and DNS server if you go here and see this is ActiveDuck and DNS server and it's running on my Win2K16 DC01 and my domain name is victorinfosol.com so this is my ActiveDuck server and the second machine is Paddler01 which is our Paddler server on which we have installed our Paddler's remote application con server and console so this is Paddler01 so on desktop we have a palace remote application server console so i'm going to connect to this farm which is running on my palace 01 so click on connect and here you can see we are connected to farm and this is our status of our farm so this is our Palace application server and second we have two RDS server so RDS 01 which we have already added in Palace so you can see here uh, this is my RDS01 server which we have already added in our Parallels application in last video just let's verify it so if I click on RDS server uh, session or server you can see the agent status and everything is here so this RDS01 is already added in my Parallels farm and the last machine which is Win2K16 RDS01 which is RDS host second RDS host in our infrastructure which we are going to target and add in this um, Parallels applications so here you can see this is my RDS02 so uh, uh, this is first machine I have just configured the IP address rename this computer and join in my domain so these three tasks is done now on this machine so this is basically a first brand new machine which is just join in my domain after renaming the the computer and IP address configuring the IP address so let's start now and add the server uh, RDS session host server to Palace RAS so I'm going to click on my Palace server and here you can see uh, from start I'm going to click on farm and from the farm we have RDS session host and I I'm going to right click here and click on add so this is going to be open one console here add remote desktop session host and then we have option to browse our server so I'm going to add my server name which is fin2k16 rds02 so check name and server is identified so click ok and now add firewall rules install RDS role which is going to install a remote desktop session host role and desktop feature uh, experience is going to enable on the server it's going if it's going to have like 2012 server or uh, windows server 2008 r2 it's required to enable the desktop experience so this is going to do and restart server if required if you don't want to restart automatically you can uncheck so required since I'm going to do this and specify users or group you want to add any more desktop so I'm going to add one more thing here my domain users so this is done and everything is looking good and now we can click on next and you can see it's going to check the agent status version RDS role and everything so you can see agent did not reply please install agent means the server don't have agent installed Palace agent so we can install manually either we can install right now from this console by clicking on install button so this is going to be a simple step I'm going to click on install so now you can see it's copied the RAS installation installer file there and now we can go and verify so palace remote application server is installed and now msi operation successful role installed successful report in progress 
so now you can see this server is getting rebooted so this is done and now we can go ahead and click OK now let's wait for server to reboot and see it's going to reboot so I'm going to reboot just log into this server again after reboot so now you need to verify the remote uh, desktop services session host role is installed or not so you can verify from server manager itself so you can see we got remote desktop services and let's verify from here what is role is installed so you can see remote desktop session host role is installed so this is good and everything is going to be healthy and green on the server soon so yes now server is rebooted and everything is green and now if we go to palace server you can see the agent status is not showing and if you refresh it it's going to show you the agent status now you can see it's not assigned to group so we can see mm, assigned to group and we can assign to our RDS session host group so you can see now it's uh, added to this group and please click apply to commit the changes so this is good and now we can go and see everything here like enable logins remove from so we have everything and we can if we need to change anything you can go here and change any setting so now this is this server is also added to RDS farm and we are good to go and uh, create any like thing so you can see here this is published and win 2 k 16 RDS 02 is also added here so we have we can got everything like we can see the remote taxage uh, processes what is running there and we can do control from here like disconnect log off send message everything so this is good and this is how we can add the remote desktop services session host server and parallels farm so this is all about in this video so in next video we are going to focus on publishing application so we are going to install some applications on our RDS server which is here our uh, both RDS server and then we are going to publish those applications on our uh, Palace application farm and then we are going to connect those applications from our end user machine and we'll verify how the how this uh, RDS session host is going to respond to our our users and end users and how users can log into this server and verify these things so in case if you want to like um, put in maintenance mode you can go here and you can just go and disable logins and reconnect and disable logins until the reboot so you can control these things so uh, this is not going to uh, you know in allow the users to log into this server until this server is not going to reboot so we have all the features here available on this machine uh, from palace console to control uh, our RDS sessions so you can see now it's log on disable until re our next reboot so this is how we can control our RDS session host servers from here and we have a show published resource so currently this machine having no published resources so we'll see in next videos we are going to publish some applications so we have all these things and we can remove from group if you want to remove from this RDS session host group so also we have a troubleshooting feature you can check the agent status what is this agent and RDS role enable on port what uh, agent status how it's like verified or not protocol version everything you can verify and this we have a properties and then finally we have delete option to delete this RDS uh, server from 
this uh, parallel console so this is all how we can add the RDS session host server in our uh, parallels application and how we can manage it and that's all in this video so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye